Welcome to Club Hangover Revisited. I'm Dave Radlauer, your host and curator. From 1949 to 59, Club Hangover was the premier jazz nightclub in San Francisco, presenting Dixieland jazz and New Orleans music six nights a week. An intimate club it was located just steps from the Powell Street cable car line and Union Square. Once a week on Saturday night, a half-hour performance was broadcast live from Club Hangover to the entire West Coast. And now we go back in time to hear this concert broadcast just as the radio audience experienced it 70 years ago. Following on the heels of Red Nichols and his Five Pennies, who we heard last week, we jump to April 11th, 1953, and hear the opening week of another excellent cornetist, Muggsy Spanier. Well, now with that wonderful start and that warm old feeling, because Muggsy is back here celebrating his third anniversary of this band at the Hangover in San Francisco with the famous old Royal Garden Blues. Go, Muggs. <laughs> Thank you. 
How about that one? Well, that bright, burning old spirit message was the Royal Garden Blues and the blithest spirit you've ever seen around here for a long, long time, Muggsy Spanier and all of his ragtime gang. How about one of those old recollections that Muggsy does so beautifully and we all love to hear? How about the Basin Street Blues? Muggsy Spanier. <laughs> Blue, 
was in very Maxfield Parish this night, except in this case they were entrusted to the trombone of the young Englishman, Ralph Hutchinson, and his trombone. You better know who the rest of them are now, so you can keep the form straight. That's Mel Grant, you heard on piano. Barrett Deems, the demon of the drums over here on lead drums. Chuck Parham on bass, Darnell Howard, our old friend over here on clarinet, and of course, Muggsy Spanier on that cornet, and this is the one I've been waiting for, and I know all of you have too. Remember the old King Joe Oliver one? With the plunger mute and everything, this is probably the most famous of all the wonderful things that Muggsy's recorded, and this one's in the RCA Victor album too. Dipper Mouth Blues with Muggsy. Dippermouth Blues with Muggsy Spanier. Muggsy, of course, and the horn he's had for six months and the plunger mute he's had for about 15 years and the, and the mouthpiece he just had replated after 32 years of carrying it around. So that was why Dippermouth sounded so very good tonight. Plus, it's the first time we had a chance to hear it on the air and we'll be broadcasting for the next four weeks from The Hangover in San Francisco on Bush Street just above Powell, the West Coast home of Dixie Lamb music and all the happy sounds you've been hearing like this. Oh, and like this one, too. We've got Mr. Side by Side back with us. We have Mr. Meadlux Lewis over there in the intermission piano, the most permanent fixture at the hangover. And whatever it turns out to be tonight, it'll turn out to be Meadlux Lewis.
Lux Lewis and the Glendale Glide, complete with truck on bass and the trailer, Barrett Deems on drums. <laughs> Man, we've got a bright one here tonight. You come on down to the hangover. We're here every night except Sunday. We'd sure love to see you come down here, Muggsy and me and all the happy people. Right about now, I guess it looks like Muggsy's all set. The guys have cooled off their instruments. This is a nice warm old touch called Squeeze Me.
certainly be proud of that one. The version of Squeeze Me. When Muggsy sent me the music for the show that night, he also included on there that Squeeze Me is a special dedication for our boss here at The Hangover in San Francisco, Doc Doherty. It's on Bush Street, just above Powell. Come on down and listen to all this time. I think right now it's about time, because these guys have been 300,000 miles to come all the way back to The Hangover, and now they've arrived, how about paying tribute to San Francisco's famed old room written by Art Hickman so many years ago, The Rose Room.
Well, it looks as though more activity than the Rose Room has had for a long, long time. Bugsy Spanier and his Dixieland band from the famed Hangover here in San Francisco on Bush Street, just above Powell. We'll be broadcasting again next Saturday night at 10.30. Till then, on behalf of our engineer, Paul Smith, and our boss, Doc Doherty, from the Hangover in San Francisco, this is Jimmy Lyons saying so long. Thank you all so much for listening. Good night. That's how it sounded at Club Hangover 70 years ago. Broadcast over a powerful clear channel radio station to a wide swath of the Western United States and Canada. The MC you heard was jazz promoter and radio host Jimmy Lyons. He eventually went on to co-found the Monterey Jazz Festival. I'm your host and curator, Dave Radlauer. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you'll join us next week at the same time for the next in this historic broadcast series of concerts. These Club Hangover rebroadcasts are a production of Radio Sausalito online at radiosausalito.org.